Hello everybody and welcome to the second ever episode of Top 5 Fallout 4 Mods of the Week. You I nailed it! You did that perfectly. <sighs> As I knew you would. Practiced from in front having of the done mirror. so many times. Every yes. single day since we last did this. <laughs> just, just straight <laughs> rehearsal. Every day. Come on, Cam. In fact, I've lost the power you of most other words. It's really all I can say. So yeah. this is going to be a fun show. Of, Seb. Of Top 5 Fallout 4 Mods of the Week. Ooh, well done, well yeah. done. So we've got Rick bringing five mods to you. Yes. Back with Pip Fury. Now, since last episode, I'm going to mm. be honest. Yeah. I've played a crap ton of Fallout 4 to make yep. sure that I knew what the hell was going on enough mm. to do this show. Because yeah. you'd played a lot before. I had, and then on I, a different my, character. On a different character. Yep. And now I have leveled up Pit Fury. She's currently now in level 15. Okay, she's so getting we, somewhere. Yeah, shall we jump in and check her out straight away? Let's go straight in. Okay. And here she is. Looking rather moody. We'll come to that in a minute. The exact yeah. tones of what we're seeing. But she's wielding a shotgun there, Seb. Covered in pipes. I know. That's what she needs. More <laughs> pipes. Everyone, that was all the comments from last week. Yeah. More pipes. It should be pipe fury. See what wow. I, did <laughs> I didn't even set that up. I didn't even set. You have been practicing. Yeah, well done. I'm not going to say exactly what armor, armor I am wearing here because I don't want to spoil anything. Mm. Because 15 hours into the game, um, you know, I'm going to be a bit careful. Not like when we started doing Skyrim mods, Everyone already knew everything about Skyrim. You well, cannot yeah, spoil true. Skyrim. We could totally spoil Fallout for people. So we're going to be careful. Okay, um, but that's fair. I am wearing some cool stuff, and I'm wielding some cool guns, and I've got God Mode on, so shotguns fire indefinitely. That just goes Whoa. on forever. Boom! Take that car. I sure showed him. It had managed 200 <laughs> years. It had survived a nuclear war. Anyway, yes, so here we are with our new we... character. Well, I say our, 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 our continuing character. It's Pip, Pip Fury. Now, Pipe if you, Fury. If you're unfamiliar with Pip or Pipe Fury, so Pip Fury is our new... She's going to be Fallout 4 mods. She's going to be the person we always use. She's yeah. the new Kevin Van Nord. Not that yeah. you could ever replace Kevin Van Nord. And for those of you who don't know who he is... Doesn't matter. What the hell Pip are you Fury. doing here? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Big thing. All the mods are now mod manager enabled. Yeah. So we're running these through the Nexus mod manager. Although, embarrassingly, by the time we published uh, our first top five Fallout 4 mods of the week yeah, video, that, was already that had case. just just become a thing. So um, two for each. There you go. Oh, the left. Oh, the left head's gone first. Doesn't even need. Oh, the right head dies if the left head, left head goes. That, it, that I didn't. Really, I didn't know, I that, didn't know that was a thing. Let's yeah. just uh, just. There we go. There Just make go. sure it's definitely fair. fair. Don't want it to fair. suffer. Now, the first mod of today, okay. what is it, Seb? It is a new ENB. This Ooh. is now two ENBs we've done back to back. I know. Okay, and so the new ENB is called Stalker Lightning. Stalker Lightning? I thought it was just Stalker Lighting, but it's not. It's Lightning. Oh, I read that as Lighting as well. Light Stalker Lightning. Look, there's two ends. Oh, lightning. Totally it's is. a photorealistic wasteland, it no, calls it. I think this is, uh, you know, based on the look of the Stalker video games. Yeah. What's, who's shooting me? That is to say, oh, those oh, these guys. Those guys. These winged jerks. They're god moded up as well. They're shooting all sorts. Like, watch. They each get a blast. Boom. Ow. Boom. And. Go on. Another one. Come Don't on, leave us hanging. Fury. Boom! Very Man, she's good. so she's, good. She's getting a lot better. Yeah. The difference of the CMB is huge. Yeah. I mean, uh, what's your feelings on it, Seb? It's very contrasting. Don't need to describe it's, it. So... I will. I but I will describe okay, it. Okay, go for it. Go for <laughs> it. <laughs> don't want to steal your job. Go for it. <laughs> it looks to me like it's been bleach bypassed. It does. It looks like the bleach bypass um, effect in Final Cut Pro X, where mm. anyone who uses that absolutely does. I love exploding cars. Let's see how this works. Um, we don't have chickens, but this will have to do. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I still. We need to figure out how we can get her to launch. Yeah, like, we will. This is important. Anyway, uh, so that's what it, I think it looks like. So a lot of the colors been pulled out. It's very. Um, the dark's very dark. The brights are very bright. Um, yes. But he says this preset is not a colorful movie or cinema style. I don't like the ugly Bioshock optics of Fallout 4. Mm. So Stalker Lightning, photo photorealistic wasteland, um, makes the game dead. Yep. <laughs> Make the game dead. Make yeah. the game dead. It's a real colorless and dead optics now. Okay. You can feel the post-apocalypse um, atmosphere, and I think it looks much better. Well, you know what? I am actually, so I guess, inclined to agree that it does look more apocalyptic. Fallout 4 vanilla is nice and colorful. Mm. Um, but then New Vegas was orange and uh, Fallout 3 was brown. Yeah. So it's quite nice to... It's, I, I much prefer this look to what we've been given in the past. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I prefer over vanilla for this game. I quite I quite used to the graphic styling of this game. The shadows are just very harsh. Like if if you're not looking at the sun and you try to look at your character, I mean that's fine, but we face away. Nope. 
The you nothing. nothing. Barely even a face. Hey, disappeared. Yeah. Completely. Alrighty, time for mod number two. What is mod number two, Seb? Okay, well, I, one of the things a lot of people have been complaining about, and I think a lot of people have now already seen... Is Connie Abernathy. Is we hate Connie. her. Get rid of her. Yeah. Replace her okay, with... This, this simple mod just turns her into... A toad. A shrub. Yes. Um, no, <laughs> this is full dialogue interface, and basically what it means is you're going to get to see exactly what you're going to say before you say yes. it, rather so, than a paraphrased version. Exactly. How are you holding up? So the option was, how are you holding up? That's exactly uh, what you said. Yeah. And then, for example, ammo, meds, that sort of thing. the next one is... Oh, you ammo, can't really, can't see, really it. see it. But it says, ammo meds. Set it against that lovely background. There you go. Ammo and beds. What kind of basic... Oh, it went away. What kind of basic supplies are those? Actually says directly. Yeah. Ammo and meds. Kind of so basically, yeah, it just yeah, helps you simple. to say or know exactly what your character's going to yeah. say because um, sometimes you're not really sure. Um, yeah. I particularly hate when you're setting up for a conversation and you're like, well, hmm, I know what my character's like. My character's a bit of a badass and they don't like to say things a bit gruff. This suggesting here is like, go to hell, and you hit go to hell and it's like, Maybe we should just walk away and be friends. You're like, well, no, 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 no. I wanted I to kick off. I wanted to go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Where's my, where's my aggressive or, option? Or off, you know, more likely vice versa, where you probably uh, want to be a bit more diplomatic, and instead you end up just, you know, hurling all sorts of abuse. So now you know, why do you want to find this milk of human kindness? Why do you want to find this milk of human there kindness? There you go. There you and go. Now you know exactly what you're going to say. There are also loads of different um, options on how that interface is designed as well. This one is tiered. Yes. rather than around the circle, because obviously uh, sometimes the dialogue is going to Just be gives you physically longer as well. So that makes more sense. It um, does. Plus, when you've got the controller plugged in, it adds in the X, B, Y, A it does. prompts instead there. of the 1, 2, 3, 4. Which, it's easy. Uh, so it's cool. It's, it's a great easy. mod. Yeah. Yeah. It's a keeper? I think so. Okay, so mod number three is one that I think we undenied about being a cool thing, mm. and now it is. It is a is, thing. I'm not saying it was down to us. I'm glad that but we... But it uh, kind of is. No, I'm, it's not. It's really I'm not. glad that we travelled so far to demonstrate this next mod. Yeah, well, I feel like see, we've travelled for ages. I know, but you see, the, the beautiful thing is, it's actually not to do with what we're looking at at all. We it have to go a, into the pit boy. In fact, yeah, let's, which let's you can zoom in. Good, Ooh. because you can barely see, thanks to and this uh, ENB. the eagle eye amongst you will notice that there's a new little thingy in our, in yeah. our menu of stats. Yeah, we have is. value slash WT. Exactly. Yes. So it tells you basically the value per weight. So it's much easier this for sorting so, through your stuff. So much better. Mainly your junk. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. Well, sorting through your junk. Yeah. So the mod is called value per weight indicator for container UI. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. It does what it says. In the tip. So the idea is that it makes it easier for you to throw things away when you are looking for caps. But rather also, than specific stuff. But also, it's great for knowing what to look out for when you're trolling through the, you know, the undergrounds or whatever. So, mm. pack of cigarettes, 120 value per weight. So, yeah. if you see cigarettes around in this game, pick them up. Just hoard them. They're super valuable. Yeah, well, Whereas I mean, relatively Pre-war valuable. money... Well, they don't weigh anything, so actually that's quite good too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, actually... Wow, get, duct, duct get, tape's good too. Look at that. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, but duct tape is also one of the most useful... Yeah, that's you'd, true. you'd want that for adhesive. Ranchies? Yeah. Crap. Total crap. Yeah. Bin they're it. just they're just steel. Don't mm. even bother. I'm gonna drop that one. So long, yeah. wrench. So yeah, I mean a very straightforward mod, but basically just one that is gonna make your hoarding oh, so a much lot easier. more efficient. Now there was a really interesting question in the FAQs. Yeah. Um, oh I forgot, I think I turned God mode. Off because well, explain I'm now why you're super crippled. Why your limbs are completely broken. <laughs> how, how badly did let's you just look. break yourself? I don't know. Let's have a look. I bet I'm almost dead. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I'm so that's dead. That's okay. Just, just a broken leg and... Um, yeah. yeah. All, all better now. Yeah. Um, but in the FAQs, a very interesting point raised was, oh, someone said, can you uh, change the mods so that you can sort by that value yeah but, uh, and the mod and the mod maker replied saying well no not yet yeah once the script extender comes out that should be a thing that's possible mm. but just due to what is editable at the moment what's available to be edited yeah it's not possible to make that sort of change but that would be great if you could hit a button sort you know and sort by um 
So you're thinking of a, a kind of a sky UI, but it'll be like well, yeah. full UI. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, it doesn't need to, this didn't need to change. It's, it's but again, sky UI was a, able to be possible because of the Skyrim script yeah, extender. Exactly, yeah. So what we need is a full script extender, which will come when the Gek launches. That's but so wonderful. The idea is you'd hit sort, and your most valuable per weight things are at the top, and all the things you want to get rid of are at the bottom, and then you just go drop, 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 drop. Does the Great. script extender Done. is that part of Gek? Because I feel like the Skyrim extender was a completely separate thing. It is, but I think it becomes available. I think you can only produce it, the script extender, once Gek is a thing. I think. I don't know. I'm like making this stuff up. okay. And make it up we shall. All I'm saying is like people are... People are saying we have to wait for this for the script extender, and I'm guessing you have to wait for it because you have to wait till Gek is out to be able to get it. I like That's to think my that there's another, I'm there's sure another someone Boris watching Bronstov this of, knows the answer. Is, his name is John Extender. John Extender. <laughs> um, and all he does is script extensions. I hope so. Yeah. Come on, John Extender. Hurry up, John Extender. Get on it. Oh, look who it is. It's uh, that guy who loves mod number four. What, Seth, me? It's in, yeah, it's you. It's enhanced blood texture time. I've never heard These of this mod. This here. must be a brand oh. new mod that I've never heard That's of. It's a bad gun to use for blood. Let's let's do this. Let's keep it quiet, guys. Yeah, sure. Actually, no, no. Let's, let's, let's go all Die uh, quietly. Auto. I mean... Give me blood. There we go. Okay. Well, he's dead. Now, there's so much crap on the ground here. I need kind of a, a, a new place. Uh, let's bring this guy over here. Okay, well... So there we go. That's, we should be able to see there. Okay, nice clean bit of ground underneath him. Blast him about. Oh, I see the, uh, the s slightly square issue. Oh, there's definitely a square <laughs> there. Oh! Yeah, freshy! Friend! So basically, the blood textures are, as you would imagine... Enhanced. 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 And higher resolution. Uh, they, yeah, and you can really see it, actually. With, with It plays very nicely with the light it on does, the ground yeah. here. It looks very good. Ah, oh, now we have ten naked raiders to help me show off the blood. Yeah. Actually, mainly it's my blood at the moment. That's all right. But it's, it's all the same. <laughs> Tell We're me more about this. So, no. uh, for anyone who's ever used a uh, an enhanced blood texture mod before, say Skyrim. Oh, example, I know that game. Uh, you'll, you'll know that it's one of the essentials. It's got to be there, and everyone uses it because it just makes the blood look oh, better. Oh, it really does and look better. And look in fact, at it. it looks like... Stop the, it, I'm trying to look at the blood. It kind of looks like the square Ugh. blood issue might be limited to some particular monsters because the raiders don't seem to get it. No, Unless it's just your blood here. Oh, uh, yeah. These are console commanded in raiders, of course, because you can tell because they're, they're different naked. colored necks and bodies. I don't know why they why they do that. It's very weird. It's like it puts them through a random randomization engine or whatever. Yeah, it's really I strange. So. You, you're the one. Oh, let's like try it. and get some texture on the wall. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes. We definitely got some. Yes. So I wanted, very let, nice. Let's take a closer look at this. Okay. So this is the normal. It's very colored, high resolution. Um, blood, isn't it? You can choose. Yeah. So well, this is one of the first mods that I've seen for Fallout 4 that gives you, um, you know, a proper mod dialog box when you install it in Mod Manager. Allowing you to choose different colors, different mm -hmm. resolutions, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, where in the past you had to just go in manually and find the one that you wanted and drag the file over. So it's it's pretty cool. We've gone for original color, high resolution, without the fancy plugin that is supposedly going to fix the, the, Some the, of the square yeah. issue, which we got with the ghouls down there. Yeah. Um, that being said, when we did try and install it with the plugin, we didn't get any blood textures. No, so. so I'm not sure if we did something wrong or what was going on there, yeah. but we just went but, back to like the initial one that you can choose, yeah. kind of default blood addition textures, and yeah, it looks pretty great. But there's also another minor tweak using this mod as well, and then it reduces, if you choose, the amount of blood splatter you get on your lens, Yes, as it were. Because some of you will notice that it, 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 this game gives you a lot of blood on the lens, and it kind of, I find it distracting. Yeah. So you can choose, there he is, you can choose a subtle option. So get a bit closer, so you would normally get some blood. On, uh, okay, okay. Let's try on, and get some blood on, the on your face. Come on, now you might be able to see some of your blood, isn't it? Yeah, or his. <laughs> well, he's dead now. Well, there's definitely um, no blood on you. Subtle is certainly very subtle, yeah. I think, but that's okay. Yeah, I think so. 
Hey Seb, it's time for our final proper mod, and look, it's our son Sean. Sean, how he's growing! Oh, yum, yum, yum. I he's always changed. used to stick his tongue out. I remember when his horns were just so tiny. I think he's gone. he looks just like his mum. Very, just, very, you very say? much. I would just say like identical. Pip Fury. Same uh, scaly hide, same claws, and, and even horns. Yes. Really got her tail. Exactly. <laughs> so um, this mod is it's a bit janky to kind of set up, um, a but. Bit. But it seems to... Hey, <laughs> come here, John. Sean, it seems he's to going work. through his troublesome adolescent years. Yes, I think so. He's not listening to mum. So we had to do this weird thing where we replaced a stag with Sean using this batch file. Uh, Sean! Sean. <laughs> Maybe I didn't say follow. Maybe I have to... It's anyway. It's called Creature Where'd Follower ESP version, and so what this does is it um, it is an ESP that you need to drop in um, using Nexus Mob Manager, but you yes. also do need to drop in the batch files. Yes, you do, because uh, there's obviously a lot of command wizardry that needs to happen for Sean to follow you effectively. But the idea is he should now behave like a normal follower, and actually you can have him in addition to existing followers you have because it works in a slightly different way. Yeah, and it also it's not even just a Deathclaw. I think maybe we should uh, get some sleep so we can actually see. Yeah, this. Sean. EMB is just so bloody dark as soon as the sun goes down, so I can't even find my house. This is how problematic it is. Go here, Sean. Okay. Sean! Come my on. Come on, Sean. Where is he? You're telling him to, like, inspect stuff. Sean, go inspect here. Inspect that tire. Where is he? He might be outside. There he the is! There he is! Okay, he made it through. Here's my son. Guys, don't worry. The game's over. He's fine. Now, um, should we see how Sean does in combat? I think we should make enemies of our sanctuary friends. Um, I think... Mama Murphy? Bop! She doesn't seem like the kind to get that mad. She she's, didn't care. She's just too baked. Whoops. Why don't they care? Uh, because you're their savior. Okay, 15 naked raiders. Go, Sean. Complete Go. the guns. Protect your Sean. wonderful mother. Sean's doing well. Is I he think doing he's, he's sprinting around. Uh, well, he's getting involved, at least. He's very he's excited. He's kind of just running around the edge. Go on, Sean. Uh, Sean? Is he, he. Actually, you're right. He's doing he's not nothing. doing anything. He's a coward. Sean's a goddamn Sean. coward. Attack Raider Scum. Go on. Go on. Go on, boy. Is he. What? What? Attack Raider Scum. They're all going to be dead, Sean. He's, Sean's he's, 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 oh, no, he's, he's fighting one up there. Is he? I think so. He better be. Sean. If he wants any place oh, in this God, community. Oh, God, maybe Sean is afraid of fighting. He better not be. Maybe I need to teach Sean. See, Sean? See how I fire? Do that. <laughs> well, Sean is scarpered. Where did he go? He has... Um, he's naffed off. He's found love with another Deathclaw. I don't know why Sean didn't want to fight. He <laughs> ran away. You know what? Fair enough. I mean, it's that right. was a lot of raiders. Well, if you download this mod, you could try instead of um, a death claw. A Sean. death claw. You could have a, a Gen One synth. You could have a Gen Two synth. Ooh, okay. A cat. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, mutant hound, super mutant behemoth, um, raider dog, gorilla, rad scorpion, uh, vicious Lovely. dog. In fact, you've got quite a lot of options. Lots of here. options. So, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe we went too bold, maybe. jumping straight now, in with Deathclaw. Clearly, once the uh, the get comes out, you know, we, you were always able to in Skyrim to be able to just be like, "Well, oh, I'll have a follower of this type of thing." I'm yeah. sure there'll be lots of bespoke follower. Here he is. Where'd you go? Why do I shoot him? Well, he gets shot, all right. He's Where did just, you go? Bad Sean. Just doesn't even care. Bad Sean. You didn't fight for your mum. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, time for the final bonus mod of the day. Arguably the best oh, one. Oh, Seb, well. what is it? Because I'm quite excited. Okay, well, it's a mod that neither of us have actually seen yet because we want genuine reactions. So, yes. odds are, it won't even work. But this one is called, of course, BFLM. Or, for long, <laughs> Baby's First Laser Musket. Now, has anyone will notice who's played Fallout 4? The very first kind of good weapon you get is this laser musket, but it mm. needs to be wound up. And some genius realized that the side effect it really needed is the one in Futurama. Oh, where yeah, they when they war the, were declared. When war were declared, and they go to the Bulls planet, you know, they'll have, oh, we've all seen too many body Bull, bags and ball sex. sucks. That episode. And Fry's just going, boom, boom. Yeah, and Leela tells him to wind it up, and it makes a noise. This noise. What? Keep doing it. Let's try again. Oh, you, you need to de-god mode. Oh, I do, don't I? <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> similar. 
It's not quite I mean, the same. It's playing too fast. It, yeah, so I guess what they've done is uh, to fit the file into that duration of time, they've sped it up. Well, like... <laughs> Possibly. Maybe? Maybe you need to have it so that you've got like a triple or quadruple wind gun. So, you know, you can set the, uh, as you upgrade the laser musket, you can have it so that it's one one wind, oh, two winds, three really? winds, four winds. Um, so I reckon maybe you need a maximum winding gun before you get uh, oh, the full that. audio effect. Well, there you go. That's something to look forward to. All right, now we have a six crank. Let's see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ridiculous. at all. Am I doing it too fast? Let me try again. You can see it trying to work. It's it's trying really hard. <laughs> no, it won't wind at all. You, have <laughs> I've you, broken it. Have you fired all your lasers? Oh, that might be it, yeah. yeah. Before I fired all my lasers. Well, Whoops. there you go, Seb. That was a resounding <laughs> success. I would say that was about as good as Sean in combat. Isn't that right, Sean? Me! Me. I am king. Let's see if we can blow Sean up. Now, someone in the comments recommended mines. So mines! Help, uh, yeah, help mine. Well, it's definitely there. Sean! <laughs> Well, Sean's dead. All right. So yeah. I think you need to pick them all up. Oh, no, he's not dead. He's fine. Oh, not dead. Oh, God. You know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Gorillas? Um, yeah. Let's do exactly that. Let's get my fat man. Yeah. No, they're not gorillas. No, they're regular. <laughs> I had God mode on. No, you didn't. You turned it off. You literally just turned it off. Oh, I meant to turn it on. Oh, I'm an idiot. It was already on. Uh... Well, there you go. <laughs> I, I wanted to see if it would launch. Didn't, it didn't launch. And it crashed. And it crashed. I think that's fine. How did you manage that? Well, I'm not saying that our sixth and silly mod was completely <laughs> terrible. I would um, say it reminded me of how Fry's gun fired before he wound it up. Like, bleh, more of a damp, a damp squid. I guess I... <laughs> a damp squib or squid. A, squid. See, that's a reference to the IT crowd where he thinks it's damp squid and it's oh. squib. But yes. See. No, I, but any, anyway, moving swiftly on. Yes. Yes, I'm aware it, that it's a squid. Uh, I, I like that the thought was there. Yes. I like that the attempt. It was a nice idea. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, maybe it'll, anything it'll be improved in version 2. Sorry, like it's anything so early. Futurama is just like uh, gold dust. Let's us. see. It's it's version 1.0. 37 so endorsements. Who endorsed this? I'm going to say <laughs> that, uh, really? that maybe in version 1.1, 1. 1, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to be really yeah. special. Spectacular. I was amused by how crummy it was. It was great. But anyway, yeah. boop -a -doo -a -doo -a -doo. that was fun. That was fun. Um, but it's time for the questions and comments. Yes. And uh, question number one this mm. week comes from Riley Anderson. And they asked, mm. when will you do that interview with Gopher? That's a good question. I don't have an answer for that. No, um, um, it's, I need to message him again. He's up for it. Um, we just haven't arranged it. Uh, I guess yeah. the best thing would be to get him to Skype into our recording. He's never been on camera, has he? No, so we'll have to get him audio. Yeah, mm. I think he hides his face. Very mysterious. Yeah. Maybe we can get him to call in via Maybe Skype. it's one of us. This whole time, it was me. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Anyway, um, so that was, thanks, Riley. That's it, an answer to you. That's basically, you put that question in as a reminder to you. Yes, that you? was a note to self. <laughs> note to that made a note to self. <laughs> I'm going to jump. Gopher. I'm going to jump right. back to a question before that, which uh, oh. I've, uh, I've basically attributed to the people, the people, rather than, the people, rather than one person. The commons. Uh, I've saw a few the people Philippines. comment uh, saying, "Yes, uh, are we going to be stopping Fallout for you as a let's play in favor of just doing the mod show?" Hmm. That's a good question. Yes, it is. Um, well, the mod show is is going to be our primary thing, right? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it it's is. always been. It's basically the reason this channel was made yeah it's and so i think we've been bigging up the mod show for quite yeah. a long time it's what we do and we we noticed it's like what we do best yeah we think oh, anyway we enjoy it more we will dro drop in with pit fury every now and again i, I suppose think we probably get so the, the the problem is this as well that we recorded and we still have recorded uh a couple more episodes of the let's play, play. yeah the problem is that if we're going to be doing that i mean the next episode for example would be going to concord yeah which, which is what you most do people in like do. hour three of the game. Or I mean, hour one. Like, you know, if you're trying to do it as a weekly mm. show, um, it's it too just, slow. It's too slow. Yeah. It doesn't work. And everyone's going to sort of 
lose interest in it because it's yeah. going to be so far behind everyone else. We a lot of people have finished the game already. What I think we'll do is yeah. when we get to the point where we've kind of finished the game, we will do we can do a series of let's plays where we try yeah. to go through and do a particular thing. Yeah. That's maybe not the mission of the game, but you know we try to cross from one side to the other as Pip Fury mm. um, without using any guns or something like. Yeah. We'll do things like that, but as, as a standard playthrough, I'm not sure it makes sense. I mean, yeah. we, we also don't have the time to do both. Like, it's really mods or yeah. something else. Yeah. So I think we're going to stick with mods for now. But yeah. we are totally open to suggestions for, like, one-off things. Absolutely. Um, we'll try and keep the show spoiler-free if we can, though. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, hopefully it's been spoiler-free today. We haven't yeah. really shown anything. Um, and if we do bump into anything, we just kind of... Mm. We'll, well, there'll be no story in there. You know, there'll be no story spoilers. Yeah, just lots of dead we, things. We can promise that. Yeah. Um, so the next question is from Where Cow, which I, I really Where like. Crow? Where, <laughs> where Cow? Where Cow? Why did, why did I say Where there's Cow? A, there's an R in there. I really wanted it to like, be Where like Cow. The, like the lightning thing <laughs> from earlier. <laughs> like Look, dyslexic. Dyslexic. Where Crow? Um, I can't wait for Kevin Van Nord to be modded into Fallout 4. Neither can it we. It has to happen sooner or later. Yeah. Also, I'm so glad this series is back and better than ever. Better. Thank you very much. Wear cow. <laughs> I like that we we made it better in one episode. It's probably just because it's a new game. So but I liked yeah. how a different commenter, yeah. Mr. Vo Vojtik, said Kevin is now murdering everyone in Sovngarde. He can't join us in Fallout. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Fair, good point. But, well, yes, that's de the definitive. That is probably what. Kevin uh, is doing. I mean, is he in Sovngarde? You know, Sovngarde suggests that he's dead and Kevin can't die. So um, I don't know. But he can also travel travel interdimensionally. So it could certainly he actually, be, it could certainly I think he did in a couple of episodes. He definitely, went he to definitely Garden strolled into Southern Garden and being like, he has you, his ways. God, I require you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then, you know, he, he could have easily aged all the way through to um, the era of Fallout, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, Pit Fury is supposed to be his 65th great granddaughter or something, something like, like that. that. I yeah. can't remember. Exactly. <laughs> I don't make it up. I don't know. Yeah. So he might be getting his first gray hair soon. No, Somewhere never, on his chin. Never. If yeah. it was great, it's only because it's actually growing like adamantium. As oh, that hair. could be He's it. Leveled up. Yes. Anyway, comment threes from Michael Holloway. What's he mm. say? He says, um, "If there are no exploding chickens by next week, I'm gonna be very, very oh god, anguished, anguished, and then a winky face. So uh, it's okay. Yeah. So or maybe that's a grimace of pain. Oh. We're sorry, Michael. Um, yeah. There are no, no. There's no chicken mods. Every every time I go on the Nexus, mm. I type in the search field chicken. And nothing happened. I think before we necessarily get to the chicken, plural, um, we we first need to figure out how to make Pip fly. Yeah. As a god. So if that's anyone knows how to launch, yeah. then tell us how you can launch people. Because mm. currently Pip Fury, especially in God mode, does not launch. Doesn't launch, or even in um, in vulnerable mode as well, no. which I is T I M. I did have a wonderful bug the other day when I was Ooh. playing, and suddenly I was just like running along my own business, and then suddenly I was up in the air, falling in a completely different part of the map, and I died. Classic. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thanks, game. Classic like, game Bethesda. Picked me up and went, you, jaha, and threw me up into the air. That's just that's just Bethesda and having I their lost fun. Like ten minutes of play. That's it's not like, a bug. That's a feature. A, that's a feature. Son of a bitch. Anyway, um, so 4K gaming as well. Well, anyway, oh yeah. oh yeah, 4K Gaming and DKD replied. All I know is chickens need to be modded in, yeah, and they are. They need to be explosive they and do. need to be able to be fired from the Fat Man launcher. That is all. Absolutely right. I agree. Chickens. There was a chicken launcher mod, if you remember, in Skyrim that oh, we showcased. Was, yeah. It was janky, but it was fun. But I think uh, you know, even a start would just be adding chickens in as. Yeah, as, 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 as ambient sure. NPCs, ambient, just like that. cruising around, being chickens, doing the thing. Yeah. Right. All right. Next one was from. Cygnus X1. Cygnus, Cygnus, X1. Cygnus X1. Yes. It's pronounced like Yo Yo Guai. Yo Guai. Yo Guai. Yo -guai. So it's like a mutated bear. Okay. The Yo Guai. The Yo -guai. Thank you, Cygnus like X1. Mogwai. Cygnus X1. But Yo Guai. <laughs> yes, like Mogwai, but different. <laughs> Such is the pronunciation of all words. <laughs> Um, and then finally, yes. comment number five. Mickey Interval. Mickey Interval. Oh, that's a good name. That is. Guys. Yes. I'm a longtime watcher, first time commenter. See, if you say that, I'm going to put your comment in. Okay. And I used to watch your Don't previous show <laughs> religiously. Oh, cool. I have never played any Fallout games, nor do I have a copy of Fallout 4. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's, there's more. I thought that was just it. <laughs> <laughs> it went on to another page. I'm just like, I've never played Fallout, <laughs> but I don't have a copy. I find that I'm watching your videos just as religiously as before. Cool. Purely because it's you guys and you're hilarious. Well done. 68 generations later, Kevin's legacy lives on. All right. Absolutely. So it's 68, 68 yeah. not 69 generations. Close enough. Yeah, close. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mickey Interval. That's a great comment. And uh, I'm <laughs> glad you're enjoying it. But 
We a brilliant final thing to end the show. Final we three were sent things. Our first bits of fan art. I'm going to correct you on that. We were sent our first three okay. bits of fan art. Three bits, and so. they are wonderful. So first up. Paul was, Dozier. Oh. Yeah, he did the first two, actually. So yeah. this is the first one he did. Uh, Pit Fury fan art for Cam and Seb. Oh, it's so cool. And it it's it's great. She's so I mean, hard Look ass. at the leg definition. Jesus. Like, um, like Chun-Li. Yeah. But, you know, I'm getting a real X-Men vibe off her because of the, the kind mm. of onesie suit thing. But uh, the vault, vault suit. But it's cool. Really cool. <gasps> Thank you, Paul. Super. And what was his other one? His second one was us. Oh, it's amazing. Us so uh, as... there's... there's um, I presume me with the hair. Seb boy. So you can see because it says Seb boy and you're on the left. Cam boy. boy. Yeah. We're only level one. We don't have a lot of HP. but um, Lots of action points. Yeah. But it says YouTube. Oh, that's so here. clever. It's so good. And then finally, obviously, if there's oh. fan art, there must, must be Omed Hani. And here he has once again been amazing and done this beautiful kind of like glowy painted pit fury and my favorite thing about it is oh. if you look in the clouds and it reminds me of like that bit in the lion king where mustafa <laughs> is in the clouds and he's like you are my son and look it's kevin van nord M mufasa there's no tea here. but whatever i said mufasa <laughs> you said mustafa <laughs> he's mustafa <laughs> Mustafa's just a name. Yeah, I'm sorry. He also Mufasa. kind of looks a little bit like. Mustafa. So there's Mufasa, and um, yeah, when um, who's the guy in Aladdin? Jafar. Jafar. Where Jafar turns into the genie. Oh, he does look a bit yeah. like Jafar. Genie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, Mufasa. Brilliant. Yeah, I love that. And he's he's looking oh. down at her and being like, "You are my descendant. You are my daughter." She's like, oh, "I know." Although, it's it's all brilliant. It's yeah. all brilliant. So amazing, um, amazing. What, what we need though is we because recently I went back to try and make the camera Seb graphics on this channel better because they're terrible. Yeah, and they were like thrown together by us. And I realized saying that actually because it cuts your face. It cuts off. my face off. But I made them. I yeah, made the did. ones that cut my face off. I'm only myself to blame. True. But the key thing is. I tried again and I started and I was like, I can't do this nearly as well as you guys when mm. you're sending this fan art. So we would like to ask you if you would be so kind, anyone watching this who mm. has a flair for the artistic like these guys, if you'd like to design our YouTube banner, yeah. then go for it. And whichever one is the best, we will straight up use, if, as long as you're okay with it. I that. really like the pun of go for it. With go for it, yeah. yeah. If you uh, like, yes. Go for it, if you want to make it, you go, man, <laughs> you go for it. We could even, we could collage a bunch bits of, of fan art together yeah. or something. I, so I like, don't know. I don't know. Of, it's up to a, you. A bit of a Pip Fury in there, maybe some Cam and Set. I really mm. love, like, I don't know if um, if Paul wants to do the whole, like, the whole channel as, like, a, in the Pip Boy style. I don't know. It's really think about. So many design options. If you would But like. probably along the Fallouty kind of direction. If I that's think. too much work, don't worry about it. And if no one does it, it's I was cool. actually saying it's you cool. have to do it. No, Just... no. But if you want to, that would be amazing. If not, we'll figure it out. But um, if you're worried that our artistic skills yeah. will not be as good as yours then yeah give and it where could they forward their suggestions to well Cam? you could um a good way to do it is if you put them up on like uh something like what's the art site that everyone uses imja deviantart yeah deviantart is yeah. usually where i think omid ohani always puts his stuff but yeah you put it somewhere where we can then download it um mm. and tweet us to let us know send us a link and you can tweet me at cam rob or you can tweet seb at ready sebi go yeah or you can tweet us both at Cam and Seb. That's probably Which the easiest we way. Don't check as often. We do now. We do. I finally got it on my phone. Oh, okay. Technology. I check Ready Sebi Go all so, yeah. the time. If you want to, if you want to, uh, you know, design our fan art yes. and make our channel look better, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, it would be cool. And thank you so much to um, to Paul and to Omed Hani again for making those because. They're like, I, never I, tire. I, I, well, I honestly thought that these days were behind us because, you know, Skyrim Mods was immensely popular and our Fallout 4 mods is going to get there. People are you know, trying to realize it exists again, which is nice. Just uh, bring it back to where it used to and be. What better way to do it than with an awesome, awesome channel art. Exactly. Brilliant. Okay, guys, well, thank you very much for watching again, and we'll see you back next week for more top five Fallout 4 mods, mods of, of the, the week. week. What an original title. Oh, yes, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs>